Hello, my name is Davis Jones. I'm a ninth grader and I'm from Fremont High School. Go My poem is entitled Memories. Memories are like a dog's leash. They might cling to you as you had a treat in your hand and never surrendering, or they might run away as if they saw squirrels scurrying up a nearby tree. <laughs> they can come and go like the tranquility of a still lake before it rains. Memories may be telling tales of heroics in the banquet of life, or of caution, reminiscing of grace, misfortune, and lessons learned, serving a reminder to all. Memories are mysterious, forcing you to forget what others remember vividly, or gaslighting you into thinking things you would never dare imagine, poisoning what you once thought as a flavorful fruit, flesh festered into form, the fume of infection forming around it. Memories are mystifying, a vague fog of misinterpreted said so's and lack of rest or information, forcing you to relive past mistakes while barring you from the mint, antagonizing you yet barely out of grasp, or guiding you through a convoluted maze and they're leading you in circles. Memories. Illusions of the past, the anguish of the present, and the hopes of the future. I sit alone wondering, did I leave my heart open, my thoughts unlocked? Did I forget the one love that he once gave me? Did everyone forget that I even exist? I will be awake at night, worrying if my memories betray the ones that I love, and all I can do is wait for those thoughts to stop. Now close your eyes and think. Thing, think, think, remember it in vision. Picture your adolescence, the times of ignorance and bliss, or maybe the agony and grief, the forgotten years of your life and the memories that lead out the details. Never the full story, just a sentence, a phrase, and a prolonged tone of our temporary existence. Now imagine last week, picture the drawn out days, the bored of truck hours, in the slow hands of the clock. Can you remember the words, the diction of those around you when the sentence is said? Or can you only remember a summary, perhaps part of two? Memories, they're special. They're an important part of who you are. They're key to the past, to the experiences, the feelings that are just waiting to be revisited, and the impacts make you just as unique. Memories are what makes you who you are even if you can't remember. Now, visualize the future. Two, 10, 12, 20 years in advance. Where will you be? Who will you be? What will you be? The essential question that everyone asks, or why ask about a future when we can hardly remember the past, a past which we know little about and can only theorize one without a correct answer. Without this knowledge, nothing is known. The answers are hidden among the lies, the memories are contorting the facts. Even when you try, you fail, and the truth is never mentioned. Memories before an entity, the keeper of knowledge, they pull the strings like a demented puppeteer. We may never understand the past. We may never learn the future, or even comprehend the present, because alone our memories rule over everything.